Hey Internet, I'm Rob from Nanom. Hey everyone, I'm Steve from Nanom. So for this month's Nanom, we're gonna be exploring Rob's senior design project. Do you wanna tell us a little bit more about what you've been working on? Yeah, sure. So my senior design project was regarding a nanotechnology called Metal Organic Frameworks, or MOFs, and their ability to remove certain pollutants from water. The FDA released a report saying that a chemical known as PFAS is contaminating American food and water supplies. Our project is focused on using these metal organic frameworks to build a device that can remove these from water with low energy cost and high effectiveness. Let's dive into VR and check it out. What I have here in my hand is an organic pollutant known as PFOA, perfluorooctanic acid. This pollutant, as you can see here, it looks a little bit like hydrogen on the chain, but it's actually fluorine. And this pollutant is a super stable organic compound that doesn't break down in the environment. It's used in manufacturing, firefighting foams. It's also used in metal coatings. It's important to modern technology, but it's extremely toxic to the environment. It, conventional filters don't do a good job of removing this from water. So my group did some research and we're using a metal organic framework that has been shown to remove PFOA from water. So on my right here, we have a complete ideal UIO66 lattice. So we're gonna take a look at what makes this lattice up. So we've got these center groups, which is zirconium and oxygen bound to each other. And they're connected by these benzene rings. These are known as BDC linkers. And it creates this very porous framework that allows single atoms to go through. These are used for most often is to trap single gas atoms. Now the question is, what are we doing with this? And what did we change about this metal organic framework to make it suit our purposes? So over here on the left, we have this other version of UIO66, which is known as highly defective UIO66. And as you can see, there's a bunch of those center groups missing from this lattice. That enables bigger molecules and more of those molecules to come into the center and get trapped in the metal organic framework. All right, so the idea is we want this to fit through, but unfortunately, uh, one of these is blocking and the other is not. So we're gonna go ahead and remove one and we're gonna see oh, that there's a nice hole that opens up right there. And so th this is the defect you were talking about, right? Exactly. And so that's exactly where it would fall through and then you know, kind of go in there and then it would get stuck. And that, so we could see exactly right. that this is where it would situate itself. And if we were to try to do that, um, you know, really with this, this other one, and so if we take that out, I'll just put that over there, get the other one in the same orientation, uh, you know, it's not going to be able to go through because now, you know, the, the defect isn't there. So mm. we have, you know, what was originally there. Great point. And so just a little side by side comparison here. We got a hole that this could fit into, and then we don't have a hole over here. It's kind of like the inverse of structure-based drug design, where instead of starting with the protein scaffold and then you know, putting our chemical in there and building the chemical, we're starting with our chemical target, the, the PFA, and then we need to build this metal cage that's gonna contain it. Exactly, yeah, that's an awesome way to think about it, and I think Nanom is what enables integrating these different viewpoints in these intuitive ways. Yeah, awesome. So um, yeah, you're going to be going up to the Bay Area, so we might only see you a little bit. Yeah, so I'll be gone for the summer, so you may or may not see me in the next couple of Nanom of the Months, but I'll be back. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next month on the Nanom of the Month.